what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm doing a bit of canal perch fishing today. Just got my uh, 4 to 14 gram rod. I actually just had a pike. <laughs> Literally done one cast just to see the water clarity and I had a pike straight away. Just had a TRD tied on so yeah might have some feeding fish. Um, wasn't a massive fish maybe seven or eight pounds. I'll put a picture of it there anyway. But yeah we're out trying to catch some perch today anyway so yeah fingers crossed we get some. Uh, probably try a few different baits. The water clarity is absolutely horrible. So yeah, it might be difficult, but yeah, we'll mix it up. We've got a few hours to fish. Bright sunshine, coloured water, not the best conditions, but we'll make it happen. <sighs> right, so just put that pipe back and do a couple more casts for this TRD. It took it right in its edge down here. Um like still mega loose. So yeah, I reckon this edge is probably a bit trashed now because it was absolutely getting mental, that fish. But it's like nice black pattern, this one. Um, so I might, we're gonna switch to other baits, you know, try the darker colors, try some bright ones and natural and stuff as well. But yeah, the water clarity is sort of, yeah, six to nine inches. So it's really, really bad. We'll see what happens. A pike found this, so like, Perch should be able to find the baits as well. <laughs> Pretty annoying that I had that just before I put my camera on. I literally put it in just as I walked down, you know, one cast and then I'll put my camera on and then bang straight away. So yeah, I should really put my camera on first. Well, at least I've had a fish. There's like a really solid bite off that pipe as well on the paws. Just big paws and just got a big clunk on it. I thought it was going to be a big perch by the way it hit. Oh! What? <laughs> Did you just see where my braid broke? Right in the middle. For those that know it was a fish I broke, I think it was a snag, but... Wow. Good old Corum braid. Right, retiring. Alright guys, just retired after breaking off. Gone finesse fillet craw. Weedless presentation. Um, gone for this bright orange one out of the Catch Casino box. Got a couple of barges coming through, so it's probably going to get even more coloured. Just five gram tungsten, no bead or anything. We'll see what the hell's that in the water. Oh man, there's a dead deer. But. That might hold some fish around it actually, so we'll drop down. That was a good bite then. That was a really good bite, that's a perch I think as well. Come on, my net's all the way over here. That was an awesome hit then. Yeah, it feels like a decent perch this. Not seen it yet though. Yeah, that's a proper nice bite then. Please be a perch, feels like a pike now. See for a very big perch or a pike. Big perch. Oh wow. <laughs> That's a donkey. That's probably like a 45 centimetre perch that. <sighs> yes. Oh my god. That's a stud. That is a stud. <laughs> That's what I came for today. On that bright orange craw. Colour they've probably never seen before. Oh, it's a bit quiet. So there's like three people walking past just as I hook that after I've not seen anyone. So I don't want to like make too much noise. I don't want to like stopping or anything, but solid fish. <laughs> That's stoked. 44 centimetres. Deep as hell. 
solid fish. It post spawn, so it's not like um, super fat, but yeah, I'll take that fish any day. Completely soiled the orange craw. You won't even be able to see that, but yeah, I'm happy with that fish. Stud. Probably doesn't look that big because we're in really bad lighting right here, but um, yeah, trust me, it's a big perch right there. <laughs> If I'd have caught that two weeks ago, it'd have been uh, easy, like three and a half pound. But yeah, as you can see, she's spawned out. So yeah, we'll get back quick. I had her resting in the water for quite a while anyway. I literally just got her back out, take a little little mat shot and uh, yeah, get her off now. What a beauty. Okay, 44 centimeters. <laughs> Can't complain at that. Well, guys, first perch of the session. We had the fat pike first catch, which, which first catch, cat, first cast, which I didn't film. Uh, yeah, fish were probably 10, 15 minutes after that, and then yeah, boom, solid hit. Bright orange finesse fillet craw. You know, we've got cold water, but we've got clear skies. I wasn't sure that'd work, but obviously that one took it. Like, like I say, if I'd. Uh, had that two weeks ago, should have been probably, I didn't weigh it or anything, but it was probably about two and a half pound. If I had it three weeks ago, it would have been three and a half. Um, but yeah, stoked on that fish. I wasn't, wasn't expecting one that size today anyway. Um, but yeah, let's get back fishing now. Keep this orange car on for a little bit, see if we can get some more. Let's try that same exact spot where I just had that one. Ah, it's struggle today. Um, one pike, one perch. Like, good perch though, to be fair, but not brilliant for a video. Just one fish in it. So I think I might change venue, try to find somewhere with a little bit clearer water. Um, downsize to the finesse fillet. I might go up where I started again, that a bloke turned up, so that's why I moved down here, because I don't, don't like filming when other people are fishing. Um, we left after about two minutes, so because of, because of the water clarity. So yeah, I might go back up there for a little bit. Like the water clarity obviously makes it super hard, but it's not impossible with it. So not really worked up there with a small bait. So I think we'll do that fish up there with this finesse fillet and then try to think of an action plan. Of, because most of the canals that I fish are all linked. So they all end, generally end up the same color, which is very annoying. So yeah, I'll have to try and think of somewhere that is um yeah separate that doesn't have the same same issues maybe a lake or something i don't know it's hard really difficult at this time of year finding places to fish Ooh, okay that's a decent bike that's not a perch why is that drag not pulling <laughs> Oh, that was cool to watch. Not exactly what I'm after, but I'll, uh, I'll take it if I can land it. It's actually not a bad fish, that. Just need to figure out how to get down to it. <laughs> Just changed spots in about three casts. That's not even as big as I thought, actually. It looked way bigger when it took it. It's not a bad one, though. Might go it's eight, nine pounds. Come on now, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. There we go, okay. In the net. That put up such a good fight then. It's not even that big either, but I will take it. Oh, it's a bit bigger than the one I had first thing this morning. It looked way bigger when it when it uh, took the lure as well. Alright guys, just changed venues, downsized to the uh seven centimeter finesse fillet just to try to get some small perch and yeah this pike decided it wanted it beautiful looking fish it's not that big um it looks bigger when it when i hooked it but yeah it's not that big put up a massive fight though but yeah seven centimeter bait <laughs> he nailed it so uh yeah it's quite a skinny fish but it's got beautiful colors on it definitely spawned out as well so yeah we'll get this guy back 
Hopefully get those pear tree after. See you, buddy. <sighs> okay. Don't think I've got that release on there. Camera because there's a lean right over this edge. But um, yeah, it's a fish. Very lucky to get that one because um, I don't know if he's bent the hook out. Super thin gauge hook. But um, yeah, I think it's bird the edge over as well. Sharpen. Alright, see if there's any perch actually about then. Nice little bit of sport though, a bit of pike. Um, yeah, that looks so much bigger. Like I thought it was gonna be like a uh, 12 pound when that took it. It looks mint. I, I hopefully you can see it on the camera. It's like right in the edge there, so probably not. But uh, yeah, it looks a decent fish, but that's uh, the jack. But I will take that. Still, we're after the uh, <laughs> the small perch, but it's always nice to get a bit of spot off the pike. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay, finally got a little perch to commit. I touched it so it counts. That was hard work though, that. that was hard work. I was literally just about to say, I was waiting for two ladies to walk past me and start saying it, so I didn't say it. I was just about to say, I'm going to try another spot uh, before I call it because the perch aren't here. And uh, yeah, we just caught one. Target acquired, so we've had big perch, pike, and now small perch, so that's good. I mean, the small perch was the hardest thing to, to catch all day, but we've had one now, so I'm happy. Won't mind a few more. Probably will move in about five minutes, see if there's a few more fish. Like, like I said, they are super hard to get them to commit, but yeah, I know they're here. So yeah, probably the spot I wanted to fish is a couple of people bream fishing there which is annoying, so I'll have to miss that and try to find somewhere different before we call it, but it's been a tough day, four fish though, so can't complain really. All right guys, I'm calling it there, rock hard session, five fish, two pike, three perch, but we did have a big perch, so yeah, that makes it all worthwhile, but yeah, I fished for five hours today. Um, yeah, poor conditions, the water's horrible, like six inches of visibility, so yeah, makes it tough when it's not normally a clear water, you know, if the fish are used to the colour, it's not too bad, but yeah, they're not on these particular venues. But yeah, 45 cent uh, 44 centimetre perch, proper deep as well. So yeah, well happy with that fish. I'd love to get it uh, pre-spawn, you know, see how heavy it was. But yeah, I'll, I'll take it anyway. Beast of a fish. So um, yeah, like always, all the stuff I've used is going to be in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully next time we get out, we'll have a better session. And uh, yeah, catch you next time.